while we encourage patients to, to focus more towards plant-based or vegetarian um, diets, um, we do have to keep in mind as a chronic kidney disease, if you do have chronic kidney disease, hopefully we're making these lifestyle changes earlier. You know, as a chronic kidney disease advances within the vegetable and the plant-based diet, it is important to take into account kind of one particular thing, which is the potassium level in, in the vegetables or fruits. Um, because, uh, you know, as your kidney function declines, the ability of the body to get rid of potassium can go down. And some of the medications that we like for kidney and heart disease actually bring the potassium level up. And so trying to achieve that balance, it's important to understand, again, with um, in, in collaboration with your doctor and your dietitian, what vegetables and fruits might be better to incorporate in the diet and what to limit or you know, go down on the portion size on. So for example, bananas are great, but they have a lot of potassium in it along with carbohydrates and sugars. So it might be better to kind of, um, you know, limit the amount that you're having in your diet. And apples might be a great substance because, uh, you know, substitute because they have less potassium in them. So that's what I would say. And I, I would um, turn over to Dr. Giannis to talk more about the benefits of the Mediterranean or the plant-based diet.